and Tobago Police Service. Welcome back. Students of UTT have put together this country's first 3D animated game, Crab Catchers, which will be turned into a mobile app. The game was featured as part of Trinidad and Tobago's innovative sector at the launch of this year's World Skills Competition, being put forward by the Ministry of Tertiary Education. Program leader for the ICT department at UTT, John Donaldson Campus, Camille Abraham, says the game will put this country on the global map. While the gaming industry is faring across the globe, Trinidad and Tobago is emerging into the market. Developed by a group of students from the University of Trinidad and Tobago, the game Crab Catchers can be compared to the popular Super Mario Brothers, but with a local twist. As lecturer of the animation course Omar Lewis puts it, the game utilizes 3D stockpile images and has its own mobile app. We decided to take our guy, the Crab Catcher, and make him the hero of a video game, which is the first stop motion animated video game ever for mobile device. Uh, Crab Catcher is the hero's journey. It follows the adventures of Crab Catcher as he learns to be a hero and uh, enter the vendor battle. So to do that, he has to catch a bunch of crab, sell them on the highway, and pay the entrance fee to the vendor battle where he will fight all of his rivals, uh, Soup Man, uh, Nuts Man, Coconut Man, uh, Doubles Lady, Shark and Bait Man, and uh, try to become the strongest vendor in the world. So that's the hero's journey of Crab Catcher. It's the first stop motion uh, animated video game for a mobile, and it's made right here in TNT. The game was featured during this year's launch of the World Skills Competition, put on by the Ministry of Tertiary Education. Program lecturer at UTT, Camille Abrahams, says it's about putting Trinidad and Tobago on the global map of digital games. At the University of Trinidad and Tobago, our focus really is on innovation, entrepreneurship, and it's the reason why we, we get our students to sort of think outside the box. So therefore, it's not just about creating beautiful characters or beautiful background. It's about putting that sort of technology to use where they could actually think about creating things that are financially viable for them. So it really is a platform for innovation. Demonstrating the game, lecturer Lewis highlighted the features which showcase the aspects of Trinidad and Tobago culture. This is a demo version of Crab Catcher. And as you can see, this is the first level. And the objective is very simple. Catch as many crab as you can because he's going to need crab to sell on a highway. As you can see, the Red Ibis, you go through the Red Ibis, you get extra time. The Red Ibis is the national symbol of Trinidad and Tobago. It's also endangered. So you're not allowed to kill them. And uh, he has to catch the grip, the blue crab, the red crab. Now in the actual video game, Crab Catcher will not be using his machete on the crab. He'll be putting it in the bag, but this was just a beta version. And this was developed with an alumni of the UTT Animation Diploma named Victor Dalabai. He's actually the programmer for the game. So very simple, casual gaming. Crab Catchers will be launched later this year at the annual Caribbean animation film festival, Anime Caribe. It's expected that the app will be available for purchase on the international gaming site Steam.